Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. All right, Aquarius, so here's the first spread, the Beware spread. We have uh, the Six of Wands uh, clarified by the Sun. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands clarified by the Five of Pentacles. And uh, we also have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo or pretty much any Zodiac sign. What you should be aware of, Aquarius, is uh, the offer coming your way is the real deal. And uh, you could miss out on this. It could be a missed opportunity. All right. It could be about love, it could be about work, business, and finances. But I believe this spread so far is talking about you not being open to a real good offer for whatever reason. Well, um, most of reasons that we have are based on our experience, right? So perhaps uh, you had some negative experience with either this particular individual or this company or perhaps uh, you had negative experience in the past with another person or another company if this is about work, business and finances and uh, you're going to be a little bit suspicious, a little bit nervous, not trusting this, right? And uh, you could miss out, you could miss out, that's how it feels. Uh, so far. Let's talk about this real quick, right? So the six of ones clarified by the sun, I think this is what's coming your way or is already on your doorstep. The six of ones is a card of victory, success, uh, it's a card of somebody coming in with really good intentions, right? Because uh, the six of ones is clarified by the sun. As I was clarifying the six of ones, I specifically asked what's up with this offer? What kind of offer is it? And the sun showed up. You could be dealing with a Leo. The sun is a Leo major arcana card. But at the same time, it's uh, the happiest card in the deck. Right? And that's how it feels. Right? The Six of Wands is a very uplifting energy. Somebody who is very enthusiastic. Somebody who is going to be, you know, bringing joy into your life. <laughs> or if this is about work, business, and finances, I think you have a potential with this, right? The Sun is a card of clarity and it's the happiest card in the deck. With the Sun card we'll always feel joyful, we'll always feel loved, we'll always feel on top of the world. So perhaps this person is overly enthusiastic. Uh, the rest of the spread belongs to you and I think this is you not wanting to move forward with this offer, right? The Four of Pentacles, the next got over, I think in this case, this is you remaining closed off, not opening up to it. The Nine of Wands, the next card over is the reason, right? This is a card of a wounded warrior. This is a card of somebody who uh, puts up a wall between themselves and uh, the person or the offer they're dealing with. This is a card of somebody who says, you know what, I'd rather not because I got burnt in the past um, you know, and that's why I don't really feel like accepting this offer. I don't feel like moving forward with this, right? Again, you could have been, you, the two of you could have had history, or perhaps uh, this person kind of reminds you of someone uh, you dealt in the past, or perhaps you just recently broke up with somebody and uh, you're still kind of recovering from that, and that's why you don't trust this. Right, uh, the hangman on the bottom of the deck is a card of stagnation, nothing happening in this case. So you're putting this on hold, indefinitely. Right, so yeah, that's what I have for you Aquarius, at this point. I believe, like I said, the offer is legit, the offer is um, has a potential, but you are not uh, willing to accept this. Um, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. Here's the advice for you, Aquarius. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Strength, uh, Six of Swords, clarified by the Two of Cups, and we also have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Leo or pretty much any zodiac sign. The uh, suggestion for you uh, is to move forward with this. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Even the color of all these cards are very bright, shiny, you know, goldish, yellowish, <laughs> right? Uh, strength in the middle could be a Leo you're dealing with, but perhaps strength is the um, most important card of the spread. Strength could be a card of courage. You having to have the actual strength to move forward with this, to overcome uh, that suspicious energy that wounded warrior energy that we saw in the first but then granted if you got burnt in the past that's totally understandable that you uh, you may have a hard time believing or you have, may have a hard time uh, moving forward with this that's totally understandable but you know 
change is inevitable. Life, life moves on. All right. The Wheel of Fortune, the first card I came out, could be uh, Sagittarius you're dealing with, but the Wheel of Fortune is um, a very fortunate turn of events, and it's a card of actually going somewhere, and uh, it's a card of starting a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. The word fortune is there for a reason, and by the way, the Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads, <laughs> right? The Six of Swords, um, clarified by the Teal of Cups right next to the deck, yeah, the Six of Swords is a card of moving forward, and the thing about the Six of Swords, it's always good news, right? It's a card of a uh, rough patch being over, it's a card of moving out of choppy waters towards calmer waters. The Six of Swords always makes things better, okay? The Tail of Cups clarifying that. Um, if this is about love, then yeah, this person is your soulmate. The Tail of Cups is a soulmate card. The Tail of Cups is a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people feel the same way towards one another. If this is about work, business, and finances, then the Tail of Cups is my hand shake card. All right, so perhaps you never, you've never worked at this particular company or in this particular industry, or perhaps you're afraid that all these new responsibilities will overwhelm you. You'll be okay. You'll be fine. <laughs> right? The Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of reunion, uh, and it's a card of celebration at the same time. Right? I think at some point down the road you will look back at this if you decide to move forward. You'll 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 think that this was the right move, right? Um, you'll be celebrating this decision in the future. Alright, so yeah, that's the, uh, that's the advice for you, um, Aquarius. So we're moving on as well. Uh, spread number three is the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Here's the third spread, Aquarius. This is the next good thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Page. Of swords. We have the Queen of Swords clarified by the Ten of Cups. We have the Chariot and the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Cancer, but pretty much any zodiac sign. Um, the next good thing that will happen to you um, is something that's going to come to an abrupt ending, but uh, you will be really happy about this. <laughs> it's a wish come true. So now you can move forward, now you can go somewhere. Right? Uh, you will feel like uh, you've won. You will feel like it's a wish come true. You will feel like it's your happily ever after that's finally happening. But something is coming to an end. <laughs> the Ten of Swords, the first card I came out, is that ending card. As a matter of fact, the Ten of Swords is a card of an abrupt ending or the type of an ending that it's impossible to go back to the way things used to be prior to that ending, right? The Page of Swords clarifying it is either a message coming your way, notifying you that uh, this is no longer there, that this has come to an end, or the Page of Swords, this is you um, doing your own investigation, right? Perhaps um, you are still connected with somebody on social media, or you are connected with somebody on social media, and uh, you see them um, that they're no longer with somebody, right? So now the two of you can move forward together. For others of you, say your um, your person is unable to move forward with you, and uh, they could be at a distance from you because of some kind of an obstacle, right? It could be them. Uh, working somewhere remotely or they could be them stuck in another country they are unable to come to you for whatever reason right then now uh, whatever that obstacle was is going to be removed it's no longer going to be an issue now they can come to you now the two of you can move forward right um, the uh, Queen of Swords in the middle, that's you, Aquarius, right? Uh, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, I as I was clarifying the Queen of Swords, and that was the last card that I clarified, I simply asked how will Aquarius feel about what's going on. And the Ten of Cups showed up. Oh yeah, you're happy. <laughs> the Ten of Cups is a card of a family, it's a card of a commitment, marriage, and my favorite interpretation of the Ten of Cups is the happily ever off the card. Right, so that's how you will feel about this. The chariot right next to the deck could be a cancer you're dealing with, but the chariot is a card of victory, success, and it's a card of progress, it's a card of moving forward, or it's a card of going somewhere, right? Uh, the nine of cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true, and it's also a card of personal satisfaction and uh, fulfillment. So yeah, something is coming to an end, you're really happy about it, you will feel like it's a wish come true, you can finally move forward or go somewhere and uh, you will consider it as your happily ever after, <laughs> in the nutshell. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you Aquarius. 
for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing the rest of the month.